Hi guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. And today we're here with our friends. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Josh. And we are the Freedom Theory. So today we wanted to talk about the worst parts of RVing. And we've already done a video about all the best parts of RVing in our eyes. And that's over on the Freedom Theories channel. So check out part one. But we'll go ahead and get started on some of the worst parts of RVing. And we'll start with internet connectivity. That is one of the most essential things to have if you're full-time working on the road, trying to upload YouTube videos. And sometimes it is the scarcest commodity to come by. Yeah. So we have a few different methods we use, but you know, when we're out boondocking in beautiful locations, sometimes we just can't get connected. Yep, mm -hmm. and even if you're not working, just staying connected with family and friends, it can be difficult sometimes, and you might be running to a Starbucks or a McDonald's looking for that free <laughs> Wi-Fi signal. But we found ways to make it work, but it is definitely a big struggle of ours. So first of all, don't listen to anything that anybody tells you when they say there's anything bad about RV. Because let me tell you what has never happened to me. I have never tried to tear down and get ready to move or set up and unhitch and pouring down rain or snow. <laughs> I've never done that. I have never bent down to put up the rear stabilizer jacks and happened to land right under the gutter with all the water coming down oh. my neck. <laughs> I have never done that in my entire life. I've never uh, had to take somebody's sewer hose that they just broke when it was frozen mm -hmm. and instead of getting it out they left it for the next person and pour boiling water on it and put on rubber gloves and dig it out and then cut myself and pray to god that i didn't get any sort of really bad <laughs> oh thing i think i'm okay so none of that has ever happened to me it's all peaches and cream all roses and of course i'm full of it that can be bad it can be hard but it's all worth it so one of the biggest struggles for me and Kyle living in such a tiny camper is storage and organization. We never seem like we have enough places to put things or the places that we do have to put things seems like it's just a chaotic mess all the time. And it's really hard to keep things organized, especially if you pull something out, it has to go right back into its home immediately or it just becomes disarray. So trying to constantly um, organize and simplify our living space is definitely a big issue. So the next thing that is kind of rough about RVing is the maintenance that you need to constantly keep up on. Uh, when we first started RVing, I thought it was all going to be just fine. You fix everything before you get on the road and everything will just be dandy. But one of the things about RVs is you never know how they're going to break or where a leak might spring. That You can't do enough preventative maintenance on these things. And I would say that is a big challenge when you hit the road. So definitely be prepared to have some extra savings or something to help with repairs as you travel. And laundry can be a huge issue on the road. We don't have space for a bucket, much less a washing machine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we always have to go to the laundromat. Uh, the best thing to do is just get in the mindset and make it a therapeutic event, but yeah. it takes a lot of time to get to that place. Yeah, it takes up a lot of the day, and we definitely always never have quarters on hand, uh -oh. so we always have to go get changed somewhere, and it just takes up a lot of the day. I can agree with that. <laughs> So another thing when we started RVing that I didn't really think about was being lonely on the road. Uh, there was definitely a couple of times where I was in a funk because I'm super extroverted and I thought there would just be people everywhere to play with and go on adventures, but that isn't always the case. So when you do get on the road, you got to learn how to be okay by yourself, going on adventures by yourself. Um, I know it'd be different if Joshua wasn't working full time, but that'll eventually be mm -hmm. where we can go play all the time. Time. but uh, that is something I have definitely struggled with is being lonely at times and I have to combat that with you know having Skype calls with my friends back home calling my mom calling my mother-in-law and just keeping up with friends you know via Instagram and social media um, that can help a lot with that aspect of it so those are some of the worst things about RVing. Make sure you end on a positive note and go over to the Freedom <laughs> Theories channel. Check out the best things about RVing because it is a life full of amazing things, but we're keeping it real over here at Driving and Vibing. Yeah, and please share with us your least favorite things and your most favorite things about traveling in RV life. Please give us a like, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the Freedom Theory.